Hi, we're in Autodesk Inventor uh, 2021, and we're going to start off by making a part file. So if you look here in this new tab, right, right when you open Inventor, you see the four types of, of files that Inventor makes. Okay, so we have part, assembly, drawing, presentation. Let's take a keyboard as an example. Okay, so a keyboard has, you know, there are many different shapes of keys, right? Each one with something printed on it. Uh, there's the plastic, uh, you know, that encloses, you know, the, the base of the keyboard. So each one of those keys would be a part, okay? And if we took all of those part files, you know, each one would be a separate file, and we took them and we, you know, assembled them all together, right? That would be an assembly, okay? If we then took that assembly or part and put it into a two-dimensional, you know, classic multi-view um, drawing, that would be the drawing uh, file type, okay? And we generate those based upon our 3D models in Inventor. Okay, and then finally a presentation is a video file, you know, an explosion uh, video or some type of product presentation video because okay, so that's a video file type. Um, okay, so that's kind of a brief overview. So let's go ahead and start in with our part. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click part. And we're going to be some, doing some basic 2D drawing. Okay, so we have, you know, we're now in our part file. Um, there are a couple different ways to make a part file. So um, the easiest way, you know, we just clicked part on that, front, on that front screen. If we wanted to make another one, we'd click up here at the top and then see this, uh, this little kind of piece of paper at the top and click part. And that would also get us a new part file. Okay, notice down the bottom here that we have, uh, we have a couple different things. We got part one and part two. Looks like we created two parts right off the bat there. Uh, I just closed a tab that closed the file. Okay, so so uh, basically, you know, down at the bottom we have tabs of the files open uh, at the bottom left hand corner here. In the left we have the um, this is uh, the model bar, um, and basically this will have all of our features as we create them. At the top we have this ribbon, okay, and the ribbon is where you'll you know select your tools. And notice the ribbon is tabbed, okay. So we'll be getting to those as well. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start a two D sketch. So the process here is that we start we we create a sketch, and then we use that sketch to create a, to make a three D feature. So Let's go ahead and start 2D sketch by clicking the 2D sketch uh, tool. We're going to left click. We're going to move the tool over. Notice my mouse has changed. So if you look at the pointer, the white arrow there, you'll notice that uh, there's a little sketch icon next to it, okay, which says that we're about to place a sketch. You'll notice that also that says select plan to create sketch or an existing sketch to edit. Okay, so we're going to move over and we can select eat and any of these three planes. Okay, now for our purposes this time it doesn't really matter which one we're going to select, but let's notice a couple things once we click. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move over this XZ plane. It highlights, and now watch what happens. I'm about to click. Okay, so I'm going to left click. All right, and now we just switch to sketch mode. Okay, now how do we know that we're in sketch mode? Okay, so we were in kind of 3D modeling mode before. Now we're in sketch mode, okay? Now a couple things happened, okay? So we have the sketch tab. Let's look at the top left-hand corner here. Sketch tab is up and then focus, right? We have all of our 2D sketch tools. We have this green finish sketch button. And also notice that on our model bar here, we have uh, everything is grayed out except sketch one. Okay, so notice the thing I'm working on is not, is not grayed out and that's sketch one right there. Okay, so those are the things we should notice. We can also notice that this crosshair is here. Okay, this is not, that wasn't there in, in 3D mode and now it's here, okay? All right, so let's do some basic sketching, okay? And we're gonna we're gonna just use these basic tools here. Um, uh, so the way that we sketch in in Inventor is a little bit different from from other programs you might have used. So let's go ahead and make a line here, okay? So we're going to click with the left hand left click. We're going to move the mouse. We're not clicking and dragging. So we click, move the mouse, click again. And then if we want to get out of the tool, notice the line tool kind of sticks to us here. We right click and then we click cancel or okay. All right, so then we have a line. Immediately after drawing a two dimensional, uh, any two dimensional figure, we immediately then in dimension. So we draw, then we dimension. So we're gonna go ahead and click dimension. We're going to click the thing we want to dimension. So click, 
move the mouse up and click again. Now notice that the dimension, I, there's no way to tell an inventor how big something is. So in this case, I drew a line on my screen. It looks like it's about two or three inches wide. In fact, it was 0 0.9790503 inches uh, wide, right? So, so in Inventor, when we draw, we're not worrying about size. We draw something and then we use a dim the dimensioning tool to tell Inventor how big it is, right? So in this case, let's go ahead and make it four inches. Okay, oh, it disappeared, what a surprise. So, so, so it disappeared, right? It's a very common thing in Inventor. So we have this line, we drew it, we dimensioned it. As soon as we hit dimension, it disappeared. Okay, so, so you, we have to think of Inventor's view space here, you know, uh, as, as kind of a visible area we're looking at. We can zoom in and zoom out. Um, so let's go over, uh, there are a couple ways to zoom out. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wheel out. If you have a wheel mouse, go ahead and wheel out. And notice that if you move it, press forward your, with your finger, we're zooming out. If you, if you roll back with your finger, you're zooming in. Also, what you can do is the, it'll zoom based upon where your mouse is. So let's go ahead and move the mouse up next to the line and then we can zoom back in with the wheel mouse. The next thing we can do, we can zoom out and we can pan. So let's go ahead and click the wheel and then drag. So we're, we're clicking and dragging, but we're clicking with the wheel of the mouse, right? So that's the, the wheel click, okay? And then we're gonna, we can move it over, right? So that's called panning, okay? So, so basically we can, we can wheel in and wheel out. We can click the wheel and click and drag to move with the wheel. Okay, there's another way for us to do this. Okay, let's, so let's say we, we lose it. Okay, we lost, we, don't, we can't see our drawing, okay? There's another tool here. So on the right, we're going to go ahead and click, um, we're going to go ahead and click this zoom all. So notice a little down arrow next to this tool right here, this zoom tool. We're gonna go ahead and click that. We're gonna select zoom all. So basically we can choose what tool this, this button is and we're gonna choose zoom all and then click zoom all. Okay, if we zoom all, basically everything that we've drawn will immediately come into the visible window, all right? Now there are a couple spots where it doesn't work and we'll get into that later, but, but in general it does work. Okay, so zoom all is kind of like your, your go-to thing, right? If you don't know where something is, click zoom all, it'll come right back into focus. Okay, let's go ahead and use our uh, next couple of 2D drawing tools. So let's go ahead and make a circle. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and uh, we're gonna lock in that circle to the origin here. So click, notice that green dot. So I move over the, the, um, the origin there and we'll see the green dot has kind of locked onto that origin. Click, move the mouse and left click again. We're gonna go ahead and click the dimensioning tool. We're gonna to click on the outside of the circle. We're gonna move the mouse out, click again to place the dimension. Then we're going to go ahead and make this, make this circle to be two inches uh, in diameter. Notice that the default, um, the default uh, uh, unit is inches. If I wanted to, I could go centimeters. And notice it just automatically converts it to inches because that's what the document is in. Okay, we're gonna change it back to inches. So there's our, our dimension circle. Okay, the next thing we're gonna make is an arc. Um, and let's, uh, let's go ahead and click the arc tool. We're going to click, move the mouse, click again. Then we're gonna pull the arc up, okay? And then click one more time. The dimensioning for an arc is similar to a circle. We go ahead and click it. Okay, and let's take a look when we, uh, when we this, notice the circle, this two inch circle here is that size. If I put two inches into the arc, it's twice the size, right? Okay, so an arc, the dimension that we put on an arc is a radius. The dimension that we place on a circle is the diameter, okay? All right, notice that there are some more arcs in here. So you can do an arc tangent, you can do an arc center point, um, and uh, we'll get into those later. All right, so let's go ahead and take a rectangle. So we're gonna click on rectangle. We're gonna click, move the mouse, click again. And then we're gonna go ahead and dimension it. Okay, click, move the mouse, click. And we're gonna make it six inches. And we're gonna click, move the mouse, click again. And now we're gonna go four inches. 
Okay, so those are our basic 2D drawing tools. So let's say now that we've finished our 2D drawing. Okay, we've we've finished it and we're ready to uh, we're ready to um, to 3D model or do something else. Okay, so what we're going to do to get back into 3D mode is we're going to click on finish sketch. So right up here, uh, left click on this big green check mark, finish sketch, and now notice that we're back into 3D mode. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, that is basic 2D sketching in Inventor. Best of luck.